Hi, I'm Liv and welcome back to The Book Nook. Hello gang, so I'm a little under the weather. I seem to have caught this lurgy that's going around. I feel bloody miserable. So I just thought I would do a little cuppa and a catch up -y type video. Um, just to say hi and that A, the Library of Lolo video is still coming. Like I haven't forgotten about it. It's just, it seems so much harder to edit than I thought it would be. I just got too excited while I was in there and just went a bit mad with the filming and so kind of wrestling it into something watchable is a bit trickier than I thought it would be. Oh, sorry. So, and I've recorded most of my November haul, but it's really weird, I don't like, I've recorded it and I've only got, there's like a week left of November and I know that I'm going to buy some other books, so I don't want to kind of finish editing it and uploading it and then it be inaccurate. Is that weird? Probably. So since my last um, bookish video, rather than my Ikea haul and bookshelfy type video, I have finished Simon Anstall's Help, I have finished Carlo Van Asgard's Autumn, I am over halfway through Hillary Rodden Clinton's What Happened, I have not quite had the mental ability to tackle uh, Rebecca Solnit's Further Questions on Feminism again, I have pretty much given up on Ben Judah's This Is London, I just... life is too short. Um, I'm not entirely sure by the end of November if I will finish all of the other non-fiction November ones that I wanted to read. Well, the others were Known and Strange Things by Teju Cole, which, as I said in that video, seems to be the proverbial book that I just can't read this year. I don't know why. And Neither Wolf Nor Dog by Kent Nairburn. I'm not sure that it's necessarily going to happen, just because of timing. Work is getting crazy busy. Um, coming up next week, I'm going to have a ridiculously long day because we will finally have access to our new floor and we'll be moving everything and sorting everything out on two floors now that we can move up into that space. Um, it's heading towards Christmas and Christmas at a bookshop is its own brand of chaos. Um, so yeah, I'm just not having as much time to read and I'm trying not to get too st stressed out about the whole 150 target thing, which is stupid because when I hit 100, I told myself, oh, let's just go for the next 50. And then I told myself, right, I'm not gonna get so hung up on it. I'm not gonna make it a thing. And I keep telling myself that, but then every time I finish a book, I'm like, right, how many books do I need to read on? And at what interval to get to 100? And I just like, what, what are you doing? Calm down. So yeah, and I'm thinking I might uh, do some sort of short fiction, short stories over December. Again, just because things are gonna be so busy, I know that I'm going to come home from work and I don't know that I will be able to concentrate on picking up a, a novel and a whole story the whole way through. So short fiction may be the way forward for December, but we shall see. I do want to read Ali Smith's Winter. I started reading it and got about 40 pages in and then decided to go for nonfiction November and it is slightly killing me that I think I've, I've said this once already today because I've filmed the November haul, which you're not going to see yet. So yeah, that is the plan, I think, reading-wise for December. I'm hoping to finish um, what happened today. I'm going to go back and curl up on the sofa in a minute and finish that off. Then I am not sure what I'm going to read next. There's a few that I have hauled that are non-fiction ones that I do quite want to get started on. This is the thing with me and non-fiction. I can't always kind of apply myself to it for an extended period, so I don't know whether non-fiction November was necessarily the best move for me, but it has got me reading more non-fiction than normal, which is kind of the point, I guess. But I am kind of missing fiction, I have to say. So we'll see what happens. I've only got, yeah, it's like a week left or something like that, so... I'm not quite sure what day it is that this is going up, so I don't really know. And I also just wanted to check in and see if anybody would, even in the slightest, care whether I did Vlogmas or not. I kind of fancy giving it a go. I think it will be exhausting and I'll probably fail at it. But I just kind of fancy the idea of doing it. I was thinking I could do a little bit of um, the days that I'm in work, a little bit of vlogging of this is how the day's gone. Obviously, there would be some stuff I wouldn't really be able to put in because I'm not sort of like, it's not officially a work-related channel. Um, so I would probably have to be careful about what I do and don't say to a degree, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, just wondered if, you know, days that I'm in working in the bookshop, days that I'm not, we're going to go and get a Christmas tree. I have never had a real Christmas tree. So I definitely would be vlogging that, the picking of a real tree. Ha, ya. Yeah. Don't know what that was, that just came out of my mouth. Um, so yeah, would anybody give a damn if I gave Vlogmas a go? 
don't worry, it wouldn't be all like 12, 15, 20 minute long episodes. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, just a couple of minutes each day of what my day's been like, whatever I can manage, would that be a thing? You know, like I want to try these things, but I am also conscious, like I've only got 500 subscribers. I'm not like, you know, big fry. A small fry. A small fry. Teeny fry. Bubby fry. Sleepy fry. So yeah, Vlogmas, yay or nay? Let me know. Sorry that I haven't been replying to the comments. I've been really, I've been really enjoying all your comments on the last video of the shelfie about how you organise your bookshelves and stuff. But again, coming down with this cold, work's been busy. Every time I go to reply to them, I'm like, what did I even say in the video? Which bit is this in response to? What is happening? Who am I? Where am I? So sorry about that. I'm going to spend, when I'm feeling a little bit better, I am going to go through and, you know, say hello to everybody because I like to do the chatty thing. Yeah, so I was thinking for December that I could probably do sort of vlogmas, little mini vlogmas videos every day, give that a go, and then at the weekends do a slightly more regular video, because I do have some ideas for things that I want to do in the new year that I want to start talking about before the new year. So yeah, how would that work for you guys if I did a little mini vlog every day and then a more usual video? at the weekends or depending on what my schedule's like it might be midweek just whenever I've got like a day to do a proper video um or should I just stop getting ahead of myself and getting ideas above my station and put a pin in that how many other booktubers are doing vlogmas I know that Lauren over at Lauren and the Books is going to be doing vlogmas um any other booktubers are you going to be doing it are you going to give it a go I'm sure I was going to say something else but my cold medication is wearing off and I'm feeling more zombie-like than when I started, so I might go now. So this was just a catch-up to say, Librarian Lello video is coming, I haven't forgotten about it, but it may be the new year now before that comes out, I don't know. A haul will be coming, but I'm just being really weird and don't want to put that up until I've actually got all the books, so that'll be in, like, December. Um, Vlogmas, yay or oh, nay? Yay or oh, nay? And... The thing I've forgotten. What else? Oh, what is happening? I'm gonna go fill this up with the Beecham's and try and get better. Thanks very much for watching, guys. <laughs>